The 2023 recession has only just begun. Act right now. We could very well be witnessing the start of a bear market in 2023. In fact, more than a third of small firms couldn't manage to cover their entire end in October according to recent research. 50% of workers anticipate possible layoffs and the Federal Reserve will likely raise interest rates again, despite everything going on, including falling home sales, record consumer debt and rising rates. It turns out that there's an investment strategy that has historically produced positive returns in markets just like this one. Hello there! This is The Financial Fortune and in this video, we are going to talk about this 2023 recession, what precautions should taken in advance to maximize your profits and how we can start to see a fantastic buying opportunity coming very soon to a market near you. Before we begin, don't forget to leave a like, click subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Alright, let's begin. It's crucial to comprehend the kind of downturn we can experience in order to first prepare for what's going to happen. For instance, the Economic Policy Institute discovered that during recessions, our economy generally experiences a total contraction, including number 1. Employment losses Companies will look to cut costs as they expect lower earnings and this normally starts with firing staff to lower overhead. Number 2. As a result, we frequently observe decreasing salaries. According to a 2009 study, an increase in the unemployment rate resulted in a 6-7% income loss for the average worker and even after 15 years, the loss is still 2.5%. And number 3, there is typically less private investment. Similar to how firms cut back, people also tend to make smaller, safer investments which restricts future innovation and economic progress. However, there is good news, or depending on your perspective, terrible news when it comes to making money during a recession. The first is what is referred to a stock market correction, which is characterized by a price decline of at least 10%. It is now very regular for the market to experience normal volatility. In reality, since 1920, the S&P 500 has experienced random variations on the average three times a year, averaging a 5% decline. This is also somewhat true of market corrections, which occur in average every 16 months and typically last 71.6 days with a decline of 15.6%. Therefore, experiencing a pullback as a part of a regular economic cycle is completely natural and indicative of a strong market. To begin with, you must work hard to maintain your present job if you want to have the best opportunity of earning as much money as you can over the coming years. When consumers have less money to spend, they spend less. When businesses see a drop in demand, they start to cut back, and employees are typically the first to go. In fact, a fast Google search for mass layoffs will turn up literally hundreds of businesses that are starting to downsize their employment. The U.S. economy will soon begin losing 175,000 jobs every month as predicted by Bank of America. The people who are out of work and unable to maintain their income so they can continue investing in the market will suffer the greatest financial losses. Second, if you don't maintain an emergency fund, you're more likely to experience losses. If you have this kind of emergency fund, especially a 3-6 to six month emergency fund, you won't have to sell your stocks or investments at a time when they are probably declining in value. You won't have to take on high interest debt if something were to happen, and you won't have to rely on credit cards to get through an unforeseen incident. You can utilize a combination of short-term 3-6 to six month treasuries which offer approximately 4 to 4.3% and high-yield savings account which pay between 2.5 and 3.75%. In this manner, you can collect interest on your uninvested funds and have a safety net in case something bad happens. The third point is that statistically speaking, investors who stop buying when the market has downperformed the poorest. Studies have revealed that on a practical level, the average investor just barely manages to overcome inflation with a 20-year annualized return of only 2.9%. You might wonder why. Well, the vast majority of investors adhere to the buy-high-sell-low concept. These are the approaches that given what to avoid have been shown statistically to increase your income the most. You would be that much closer to being wealthy during a recession if you were to stick to just a few simple steps. First, you need to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. 
We really appreciate it if you do. But really, the first thing you need to understand is that there will always be an excuse to not invest when it comes to increasing wealth. For instance, just a few years before 2011, you could acquire properties of real estate for 20% of their appraised worth, but during 2011, the market had already dropped by 50%. It's possible that you'll be advised to wait a little longer because shadow inventory was about to enter the market and things would become much worse. But that shadow inventory never happened. Just keep in mind that there will never be a great time to invest and there will always be a reason why the market could drop. It's usually preferable to simply disregard it and continue investing. The second is that investing is not a game. And when it comes down to it, investing is boring and it's not supposed to be fun as much as I hate to admit it. People seeking to wager their entire life savings to get a Tesla model for less than the following week is hardly an indication of a strong market. At some point, you must keep in mind that trying to time the market involves either taking a calculated risk or gambling and regrettably, the line has been entirely blurred in recent years. This leads to the following point. Third, having too much confidence will ruin your portfolio. You've lost when you start to believe that you know everything and can outperform the market. Because of this, it's ideal to understand that the less you know, the more likely you are to succeed because you won't overcomplicate things. For instance, every single study has demonstrated that using a dollar cost average, investing in an index fund and doing nothing for 20 years is the optimal approach. That's it. But guess what? The reason why so few people do it is that it is so extremely boring. Even though you may have friends that earn 5 times as much as you do in the coming weeks, months, or even years over 20 years, I can promise that they will regret not taking a simple plan of action. Fourth, any market decline is likely to be more severe than you anticipate. Like when it drops, you decide to buy it but it keeps dropping so you buy a little more and it keeps lowering so you keep purchasing until you run out of money, at which point it drops even more. The market bottom typically happens when investors completely lose hope and believe the market is doomed to fail and will never recover. Fifth, excellent financial practices should be followed in both successful and unprofitable markets. Even though right now is a pretty good time to put in a few extra hours of work, reduce reckless spending, sharpen your skills and start a side business in an ideal world, you should always be doing these things and make the most of your time regardless of how the stock or real estate market does. These practices will come in handy a hundred times over now. We hope you have gained insights about the upcoming recession and the stock markets. If you want to learn more about investing and saving money, check out these playlists we have created in our channel. If you want more videos about this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also comment with your suggestions down below on what type of content you want to see from us in the future. As always, this is The Financial Fortune and thank you for watching.